guys, Brad M73 here. Welcome back to Lawn Mowing Simulator. Um, I wanted to do some of the challenges today. Um, and we have like different challenges. There's like fuel challenges, um, time challenges, and so on. And I think there's eight of them. So we're going to start. I don't know. I've never done one of these. So we'll, <laughs> we'll have to see what happens. Yeah, the challenges actually take place because, ooh, four to five centimeters. The challenges take place on, like, for the entire game. So it's not, like, per save, which I wish that they would make it that way, but it's actually the entire game. So um, I don't think that there is any, oh, okay, so we have, like, next to no fuel and a lawnmower that I've never used before. So this should be kind of interesting. And then, so it should be what, four to five centimeters. So we'll do the shorter. Um, so I hit B to lower, there we go. Oh gosh, okay, this is weird. After using the zero, whoa, after using the zero turn for so long, this tractor really feels really bizarre. Like it feels like it lags behind where I wanna go a little bit. That's why I'm colliding with <laughs> the gas can. Or not the gas cans, the tr trash cans, geez. Big difference, Brad, big difference. Oh my gosh. Um, it looks like there also might be a limit for engine condition. Like as you can see there on the left, there's like a little red marker there by the engine condition. And I'm not in, I, I would assume that you we also might lose the challenge, um, you know, if we get to that point. I mean, that's what I would guess. Let's try mowing from this perspective. Maybe I'll have a little bit better luck. kind of a really this is like a really weird tractor and I can't say that I like it <clears throat> now I, in the real world I think it would probably be a little bit more intuitive to steer but in the computer world I don't know It's really weird. I must admit. So hopefully everybody's doing okay. I'm uh, doing pretty good myself. And um, still really enjoying the game. this game. Um, though I have been playing some Star Citizen on the side. So uh, that's always that's always fun too. If you like the sci-fi stuff, which I do, I definitely do. Though oddly, I don't. I doubt I would really like like science fiction lawn mowing simulator. <laughs> that would seem kind of weird to me. Now, just because I said that, there's going to be a company from Playway that's going to come out with like science fiction lawn mowing simulator in the next two to three years <laughs> guaranteed but you saw here folks you saw it first
What? How am I hitting that? Yeah, that was kind of weird. Okay, so the blade condition, penalties and fines. Ooh. Yeah, see like right here it's kind of where this mower is really weird. Like, it feels really strange to to steer. So I'm trying to be very careful. Steering around all the flowers. Now I'm going to go ahead and assume that probably the penalties and fines are from collisions. And I'm taking my time going around here. Even those, even the ones that don't really look like flowers are flowers. Like right there, those, they kind of look more like weeds. They're flowers. Okay. Now see how there's 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 like two bolts that are kind of on the front, or at least they kind of look like bolts that are kind of on that front bar. And I'm kind of using that those as a guide to like where I want the cut in the grass to be. going to go straight across here. And then I guess we're going to have to do kind of a trip around here. Okay, now with this side I'm, I'm using the um, the deck the cutting deck as kind of the Oh gosh. Okay. Phew. I think what I'll do is I'll kind of cut
cut in like this, and then I'm going to have to go around the tree, I guess. This actually looks like we have three smaller blades. I think some of the other tractors do as well. Like instead of having one big blade, like like my old mower when I was a kid, I think it actually had two blades. Um, and then I, I'm honestly not sure about my John Deere. It's been so long since I, I want to say that one has two blades too. Maybe the old Toro only had one blade. Man, it's been so, I mean, I just never, I just don't remember. Because I haven't had that Toro, you know, tractor since I was a little kid. Okay, I, I, just pretend like you're not even seeing any of this. I think that'll probably work best for all of us. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right. I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of that. Oh my gosh, look at this. Yeah, I'm finally kind of getting used to this tractor again. Now what's going to be funny is going back to, to zero turns is I'm going to have the same problem again. I'm going to be like, these darn zero turns feel all weird and stuff. We're getting ever closer to halfway done. Are you guys seeing that like big flash? Like I just saw like a big kind of a almost like the the screen blanked out for a second. Okay, so I think we're going to have to do 
do the doo doo. All right, let's go back around this way. You know what? I, I'm kind of surprised to hear myself saying this, but I kind of like how this mower cuts. I know. I'm really surprised, too. <laughs> Like, now that I'm used to it, yeah, I actually do kind of like it. Alright, so we're 50.08%. So we'll probably be somewhere between 52 and 53% finished once I finish this. Maybe. <laughs> it's 51.8. Okay. I thought we'd uh, we'd actually get a little bit over 51%. All right. Let's turn the blades off here. And I do think this is a mulcher. Okay, so we need to take a slightly wider berth here. There we go. So now we can just kind of go around in circles. Fuel tank is low. Yes, I know. This is this is one of the fuel challenges. <laughs> it's funny. It's funny when it gives you the warnings. Let's take a drink here. It's funny um, that we're doing a fuel challenge. And yet it still bothers to tell us that our fuel is low. Yes, we know. That's part of the challenge. I think I can kind of step it in a little bit more here.
Okay. So I'm just trying to get the widest cut I possibly can. That way, I don't think we're, I mean, I'm just looking at how much fuel we started off with, which honestly, the little meter looks like it's barely moved, if at all. Um, but I'm just kind of trying to get the most cut. So that we, oh gosh, well, there's another penalty. See, I got one of those flowers that looked like a weed, even though I was trying to avoid it. I shouldn't have been moving the, um, uh, they really need to fix the dead zone. For the controllers because it's really annoying. Okay, let's go around here. This game, this game really does require like a lot of concentration. You know, if you want to, if you want to be precise, I, I think it does at least. Yeah, see, we're need to we're gonna need to kind of cut this area. See, let's go this way. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Okay. 
All right, little bit left to do here. This, this last part always goes really quick. At least I think it does. The one thing I haven't tried is actually starting from the center and like going out. shouldn't be out there. Blade condition dropping rapidly. So again, this one's not a time bonus. We don't have any kind of time limit. It's just, um, you know, can we cut this whole area before we run out of fuel? And I'm going to go out on a limb and say the answer is most definitely yes. Oh my gosh. Now I could probably improve upon this by not getting so many collisions. I'm going to have to see what kind of penalties and, and fines we get. I, th I think we're just getting collisions here from, like, bumping into park benches and trash cans and possibly trees. Oh, and then cutting the flowers down on accident. get that Oh, whoops. Yeah, look, we're all, oh gosh, we just, we destroyed another flower. Okay, gotta get that, that, this, this. Th 
this. Do we have anything else? Oh. Oh no, we're almost out. Yeah, see how, I mean, we just have this little section to do now. And I don't feel we are in any danger of running out of fuel. Now I wonder what that point, that 0 0.5 down there means. Um, All right, cutting complete. Doesn't seem to have an, anything to do with anything. Okay, I am going to I am going to reverse onto the trailer. Boom. Success completed. Nice. Amateur challenge zero one complete. Do we have to do this thing eight times or something? All right, so we did that one. Next, we have the Jefferson Garden, which, oh, oh gosh, you guys know how much I love this. This is actually a timed challenge. So five to six centimeters. I'm gonna cut this at six centimeters. All right, come on. Hold that start. So five to six centimeters. Um, we'll get a, a cleaner cut at six centimeters or faster. So that's what we're gonna do. I think on this outer circumference we can probably probably get away with going full speed here. Oh, or not. get a penalty there? I think we just did there. I'm not sure if the penalties and fines actually mean anything during these challenges. It's just, you know, complete the cut before the fuel runs out or before you're time runs out I guess This tractor, this mower feels so slow after, after using the bigger ones. And we're not even 10% done. But, I mean, it's not terrible. Holy cow.
I did forget how slow this one feels though. Oh my gosh. I should have looked when I first started this um, this job to see if to see if we actually did get like if we start off with some penalties and fines because I don't know it seems excessive to me to, to find me for those little bumps that much but uh, I don't know all right we're just gonna go down here oh my gosh this thing is so slow Now you can just almost look at this grass and tell how thick it is. speed requirement for this is pretty ridiculous. Look at this. It's like, that's how quick we're getting bogged down. You know, I have gotten a lot of people um, talking about, you know, speed controls or, or cruise controls. Um, I, now, my, my John Deere, basically, I think it's a five speed. It's either a four or a five speed. So it's got a clutch and it's got, you know, a, a reverse gear. And I'm pretty sure it's got a five speed forward transmission it's not an automatic it's a manual um, super easy to shift you just push the clutch in move it to the gear and then release the clutch um, you know I guess kind of like a car uh, but the old Toro had like a I almost want to say it's like a hydrostatic drive um, and I, I don't know if that's the correct word, but basically there was a brake pedal. And then I can't remember if there was a, there was like a lever that you, that you pulled, I think, to engage the, the blades. And then there was a lever with like a big black knob on it and you pushed it forward to go forward and you pulled it back to go back and you kind of kept it in the middle for like, you know, just come to a stop. And then obviously, you know, you could use the brake pedal. And I can't remember if it was the left or right pedal that was the brake pedal. Um, but I, I have to admit, I was like, When, when that tractor finally kind of gave up the ghost and, you know, had to be replaced, we replaced it with a John Deere. Uh, my uncle owned a pretty big John Deere um, dealership 
in Ohio. Actually, I think it was one of the bigger ones in Southwest Ohio back in the day. And I'll never forget, and I couldn't, I'd have to look up the, the type of mower it was, but he, you know, he brought it from a trailer, you know, like a hour and a half drive or at least an hour, got it off the trailer and he was trying to show me how to run it. And what do I do? You know, it's got a completely different brake setup. I run it into the side of his truck. And I put like a scuff on the mower and um, and a dent in my uncle's truck. And I just felt like the biggest. And of course he's like, oh, that's okay. And he was probably grumbling about what an incompetent ass I was <laughs> like the whole way home. Um, hopefully not, but um, And I mean, it wasn't like, you know, it was kind of just like scuff the paint, kind of a bump. It wasn't like a big dent or anything, that, at least not that I recall. Um, uh, still kind of embarrasses me to think about it, but that's about, that's pretty much the worst accident that I can recall having with a lawnmower. trying to I'm trying to think of any other ones you know I remember like you know as my dad started getting older and I started um, going out and actually helping him mow his lawn and things like that I had the name like one of my neighbors walked over one time and said he just happened to walk outside and he saw dad's tractor tipped over on its side and so he went up to investigate and my dad was like under the tractor and couldn't he like I guess he was kind of on a like on, on the um, we kind of had this hill in the yard that was kind of steep so you had to kind of be careful when you were cutting the grass how the heck he flipped the tractor over I have no idea because my dad would never talk about it. I don't know why if he was embarrassed. But I would ask him about it. Because I came right in the house. Well, my neighbor was like, you know, he found my dad with the tractor on top of him. And he's like, the, the neighbor was like, you know, if I didn't find your dad, he would have probably died there. Because the tractor was like on top of him. I don't know if it was on his leg or on his arm. And then I can, e I can even remember my dad like had a big bruise on his arm or something and I was like how'd you do that and he's like oh or, you know he wouldn't really tell me how he did it so I just kind of was like okay whatever uh, that's just the way my dad was I guess You know what I just realized? The, the clock is counting down and I have any I have not even paid attention. To what it even started at, so I don't know, you know, really how much time. I mean, I know I've got 15 minutes and 49 seconds, but I don't know if I started off with 20, 21 minutes or 22 minutes or 30 minutes or what. Because if we started off with 30 minutes, then we've got a problem. <laughs>
Can we get this done in 14 minutes? I don't know. Yes, I know, I'm overloading the engine. Trying to take the stance of slow and steady wins the race, but I don't know about this one. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to come back this on this side. Guys, I feel like I've got an awful lot to cut for there to be, for, you know, 11 and then minutes and 22 seconds. But I don't know, we'll see. Now that was a fine there for sure. Gosh, look at all, look at the penalties and fines, like how much it's gone down. What else did I knock into that caused me that much of a penalty? I have no idea. I'm gonna knock into the fountain again. I wanna see like what kind of penalty we get. Holy cow, okay, that's not insignificant. So basically don't hit that. I think is the word of the day.
Oh gosh, we only got eight minutes. I'm actually really starting to get nervous. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have gone after that one, but... Go! Oh, we're on these darn hills. Okay, I think I'm going to start doing a, the box again because I think we're going to be spending way too much time turning. So if we just kind of turn really quick like that, it should be all right. And... The row is going to be a little bit shorter every time we do do it too, so... I can't wait to see if I actually complete this. Because I'm, you know, six and a half, six minutes and 40 seconds. I am getting a little bit nervous. Now going through this area right here with the um, ups and downs, it's a it's a lot harder to control your speed. You know, I think we're probably pretty safe though. Like now that I'm seeing like how narrow this swath of grass is, I think we're okay. This thing has like no torque going uphill at all. See how it jerks like that?
Oh. <laughs> I'm like wasting all this time to get like two little blades of grass. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding? Mm. Dead zones. Oh yeah, we're going to finish just fine. Complete. Oh, wait, did I get a penalty for that? There's a little chunk up here, too. And then I think the uh, grounds will be finished to my satisfaction. Wait, why can't I raise the deck height? Maybe that's as high as it goes. I don't know. All right, so we'll reverse this back on to the trailer and that's it two challenges completed now i don't know if i'm going to make this like a normal part you know i'm not going to obviously take off and start doing challenges but i just wanted to kind of do these to show them um you know what they're like and um how they work so let's go back to the main menu uh so yeah the next episode um i will I will, first of all, burp in, in, er, sorry, I'm so sorry for that, if you guys heard it. If not, completely disregard what I uh, just said. But um, yeah, in the next episode, we're going to continue on with the, uh, the company jobs. Um, and thank you to everybody still with me. Um, do not forget to hit the like button. It helps me out tremendously. Leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know what you think of the challenges, if you want me to keep doing them. I think what I might end up doing is maybe I'll do like three or four episodes, and then I'll do like a couple challenges, and then we'll kind of alternate back and forth like that. Uh, but I don't know. Let me know what you think um, down in the comments. Um, and finally, if you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. For this and many more videos, this has been... Well, you can read or you can see it right there. Lawn Mowing Simulator. I'm Brad. I'm 73. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.